Hello everyone, welcome back to basic electronics classes. I am Lavanya Vaishnavi. Today I am going to take up the topic BJT amplifications, feedback amplifiers and oscillators. Today is session 6. We are going to discuss about oscillators. So today I am going to tell what is oscillator, what is the condition for the oscillator circuit to oscillate and few different classifications of oscillator. The first one is what is an oscillator? So oscillator is a circuit that produces a continuous or repeated alternative waveform without any input. That is, so it is a circuit, it is an electronic circuit that produces an oscillating input. That is, you will be having continuous sinusoidal output at the output part. So there is a continuous oscillations at the output part or output node. So we call it as an oscillator. So this oscillations are repeated like the same oscillations you will be getting the same sinusoidals you will be getting at the output node. So here we also specify that without any input. It means to say that we don't give any AC input here. We are not giving any AC input here. We are getting the uh, alternating current or AC output at the output. Only thing we give is we give a DC supply to bias the given circuit. To bias the given circuit, we give a DC supply here. So, in this diagram or in this block diagram, we can see that you have a block diagram structure of oscillator, like important components of oscillator. The first one is the amplifier. So, amplifier is a circuit that strengthens the signal. So, you will be having noise signal at the input. So, this noise is amplified here. So, the part of this noise or part of this signal is given back through the feedback to the input. When coming to the input, here you have a mixer that adds the input signal with your feedback signal uh, sorry that adds the feedback signal with the input signal to form vi and this is again fed to amplifier totally the amplified signals will you will be getting at the output part so look at this output signal so you will be getting a sinusoidal signal which is amplified and this sinusoidal signal will have certain frequency and this frequency is dependent on the components that we are using here okay so this is an amplifier with amplification factor a this is feedback network with is with the feedback factor beta okay so here we call the amplification as a and feedback factor is beta so this is the definition of oscillator. The next one is condition for oscillations. So what are the different conditions or what is the main condition for oscillation? So the first point again, so this is an amplifier that has an amplification factor A bar and this is a feedback network that has a feedback factor beta bar. So, first we will understand the given block diagram here. So, here you have a block diagram where you have two main blocks. One is amplifier, the other one is amp feedback network. Amplifier with an amplification factor A bar and feedback network with the factor beta bar. What is the input for amplifier? Vi bar is the input for amplifier and what is the output for amplifier a bar into vi bar that is vi is amplified in terms of a bar vi into a bar sorry vi bar into a bar is vi bar into a bar this is the result next a part of the signal is again given to the feedback network now this feedback network is having a factor that is feedback factor beta bar therefore the output of feedback network will be a bar beta bar 
into vi okay so this is the output of feedback network where vf is the output for feedback network okay so this is about the block diagram now let us analyze what is the gain for the total circuit okay let us analyze the gain here so when i want to mention about the gain i am taking af bar which is the total gain of the system so this is the amplifier gain af bar uh, amplifier gain so which is equal to v naught bar divided by v in bar v naught is a total output v in is the total input which is equal to a divided a bar divided by 1 plus a bar beta bar so this expression you have studied in amplifiers that is in uh, no in non sorry this expression you have studied in the uh, uh, this expression you have studied in the previous classes if suppose if i want to adjust the value of beta if i am able to adjust the value of beta i'll just adjust the value of beta as a into beta is such that minus 1 so a into beta is such that minus 1 it means that so a divided by a bar divided by 1 minus 1 which becomes infinite right which becomes infinite so a this minus 1 represents 180 degree it is nothing but the angle 180 degree it is nothing but the angle 180 degree so 1 into angle of 180 degree it means that af is infinity infinity in the sense so af is infinity the gain is infinity so if the gain is infinity what happens to the oscillations so if the value of a into beta is slightly more than unity so this is a condition this condition this is the condition suppose if the value of a into beta if it is equal to unity or greater than unity or less than unity let us check the condition what happens there if the value of a into beta is slightly more than unity the circuit becomes self oscillatory with no inputs v in equal to zero that is if you don't give any input to the circuit if you don't give any input to the circuit you will be getting oscillations at the output so this oscillations will be continuous if the value of a bar beta bar is slightly greater than one slightly greater than one so this is this here in this diagram you can see sorry so in this diagram you can see the oscillations are continuously increasing you can see it is continuously increasing and it reaches a steady state so it reaches a steady state here okay so like this once you get or once you increase the value of this factor greater than unity so it will reach a steady state if you make it equal to unity it will remain constant so the condition a bar into beta bar equal to 1 is called Barkinson's criteria so Barkinson criteria says that the feedback factor into amplification factor should be equal to minus 1 that is phase shift should be equal to 180 degree so that is what i said 1 to the ang 1 to the angle 180 degree okay so this says that there should be a loop in this loop you should have a phase shift of 180 degree for your signal now this also this we shall understand later now coming back here so here i have taken three different criteria here we are discussing about uh, the factor a bar into beta bar so here we are taking three different condition in the first condition so let me come from right to left in the first condition if i make it equal to one you will be getting a sustained oscillation sustained oscillations in the sense you have a constant oscillation see this oscillation amplitude is not either increasing or decreasing they are neither increasing nor decreasing it is constant so we call it as sustained oscillation 
so barkhasan criteria will work here that is when you have when you equate that equal to 1 you will be having the perfect oscillations you have to tune your circuit such that you get this perfect oscillations or sustained oscillations next when i take a bar beta bar less than 1 that is if i reduce the value of a bar beta bar the oscillations will diminish they diminish or you can also say as decaying oscillation you can also say as decaying oscillations it means that the amplitude gradually decreases so and it reaches zero at some point at infinity okay so next is when a bar beta bar is greater than one so it is equal to one as bar cousin criteria if i increase the value of this factor then the oscillation will keep on increasing its value it will not have a sustained oscillation you will be having continuously increasing values of the amp amplitude so like this it keeps on increasing okay so even this is not a good condition we need sustained oscillation to obtain sustained oscillation we have to go for barkhasan criteria where a bar into beta bar will be equal to 1 okay so the same thing is discussed here so look at this the magnitude of the product of open loop gain a so here it is a bar please rectify it of the amplifier and the feedback factor what is feedback factor beta bar should be equal to unity so one more important point if you are getting confused i'll tell you like a bar into beta bar should be equal to minus one the same thing if i'm writing in terms of modulus it is a bar so you have modulus beta bar equal to one right so i'm taking modulus so whether it may be positive or negative i will take the whole number or the positive value here okay so if you write a bar beta bar you will be writing minus one if you take modulus here you will be writing plus one okay remember this so factor should be equal to unity that is what we have discussed till now the total phase shift around the loop should be equal to zero or 360 and in uh, so i'll explain this if a into angle beta is equal to minus 180 degree the polarity of vf bar will reverse and the feedback becomes positive so i'll explain that now so if you have a sinusoidal signal here so the amplifier amplifier if it has 180 degrees of phase shift 180 degrees of phase shift i'll be getting a minus sign signal here okay so this minus sign signal is applied to feedback network the feedback network should also have 180 degree phase shift so that you will be getting the same sinusoidal signal at the input it means that the total phase shift in the loop should be 0 degree 0 degree is 180 plus 180 360 degree which is equal to 0 degree in the other case so i may have two probabilities here so the first one is amplifier is having 180 degree phase shift the next one is amplifier is having zero phase shift if the amplifier has a zero phase shift so you have sinusoidal signal at the input here also you'll be getting sinusoidal signal then the feedback network will also give the output as sinusoidal signal without any phase shift that is the total phase shift should be zero so in most of the cases the amplifier will be having 180 degrees of phase shift therefore feedback network is also designed with 180 degrees of phase shift okay so this feedback network is also called as tank circuit it is also called as tank circuit why it is called tank circuit because it provides feedback and also phase shift therefore it is called tank circuit so this is about oscillator and barkhasan criteria
okay so next is classification of oscillators the oscillators are classified based on different criterions so based on the frequency the circuit or it may be based on the uh, operating principle or based on the circuit uh, so there are different criteria based on which we are classifying them now there are few classification listed here the first one is based on frequency generation like what type of frequency it is generating af is audio frequency if the oscillator generates the frequency that ranges between oscillate uh, sorry audio frequency then it is audio frequency or oscillator or if it is rf radio frequency uhf ultra high frequency or it is a microwave frequency so based on the frequency frequency what value of the frequency you are getting so based on that your oscillator is classified next is according to the circuit employed what type of circuit you are using so in the tank circuit what is the oscillation technique you are employed circuit technique you have employed to generate the oscillations so that is uh, listed here the first one is lc lc is you will be having inductor and the capacitor if the tank circuit is made out of inductor and capacitor then you call it as lc oscillator if the tank circuit is based on rc resistor and capacitor then we call it as rc oscillator the next one is based on operating principle the first one is negative resistance effect oscillator the second one is feedback oscillator if the oscillator is employed with a circuit that has feedback then we call it as feedback oscillator if the oscillator circuit has a negative resistance effect so if it has a negative resistance effect then you call it as negative resistance effect oscillator so based on the waveforms what you get so the first one is sinusoidal oscillator the other one is relaxation oscillator so these are different oscillations or oscillator classifications okay so there are there are different classification accordingly the, the circuits are uh, based on the circuit design and their outputs okay so this is about oscillations thank you for watching this video so if you have any doubts you can write me back to my mail id or you can comment below Please like the video, share it with your friends and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.